Hello everyone, welcome to Brain Blitz Audios. Today we'll be solving some questions asked in Alan's talent encouragement exam. We'll be looking at questions asked on IQ mental ability in grade 7 for Talent Tech 2015. Let's begin then, shall we? First question. Which figure comes next? A. The, an the options are 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now, for this question, let's look at the problem figure. In the problem figure, each figure has four boxes. So, let's draw four boxes and name them P, Q, R, S. Now, each of these boxes sh have either a backslash or a slash. So, if we look at the pattern, so let's look at box P. Now, in figure A, it's a backslash, figure B, backslash, figure C, slash, figure D, slash. Now the pattern continues and we had to find the next figure. So it'll be A, B, C, D. Now we can see that uh, backslash is repeated two times and then slash is repeated two times. So we'll, if we continue the pattern, we get backslash backslash slash slash backslash backslash and continues so if we look at the next one uh, the next one would be a backslash so box P would have a backslash now let's look at box Q in box Q, it's backslash, slash, uh, slash, and backslash. Now, if we continue this pattern, we get backslash, slash, slash, backslash, backslash, slash, slash, backslash, and it continues. So, this would be A, B, C, D, and the figure for which you are finding is the next one would have the next uh, next slash in the pattern so the next is a backslash so box q would also have a backslash now let's look at box r in box r it's front slash i mean slash backslash backslash and slash now if we continue this we get slash backslash backslash slash and it continues so a b c d so the next figure would have a slash because that's the next one in the pattern so in box r we'd have a slash now in box s Let's look at the pattern. It's slash, slash, backslash, backslash. We'll continue A, B, C, D. We'll continue on. Slash, slash, backslash, backslash, slash, slash. Now, the next one is a slash. So, box S would have a slash. So, the answer figure must have backslash backslash slash slash now that figure is option two so option two is the right answer for this question next question what number should replace the question mark in the diagram options 1 11 2 14 3 28 or 4 12 now, 
let's look at the figure and try to form a pattern vertically now 3 plus 5 uh, 3 plus 5 is 8 8 by 2 is 4 so 3 plus 5 is 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4 6 plus 8 is 14 divided by 2 is equal to 7 so first row plus second row the whole divided by 2 would be equal to the third row but if we test this pattern for the third column we get 9 plus 20 divided by 2 29 divided by 2 is equal to 14.5 but that option is not there so we have to find another pattern in the figure now if we look horizontally we see 3 plus 6 is equal to 9 but 5 plus 8 is uh, equal to 13 not 20 um, then if we check first column 3 into second column uh, 6 3 into 6 is 18 if we divide it by 2 we get 9 let's do it for the next row 5 into 8 is 40 divided by 2 is equal to 20 so if we want to find the question mark in the diagram we'll do 4 into 7 is 28 divided by 2 is equal to 14 so the correct answer for this question is option 2 14 next question in the question below you're given a figure x followed by four alternative figures one two three and four such that figure x is embedded in one of them trace out the figure which contains figure x as its part now let's look if figure x is in each of the options so if we look at option one so we try to draw so we can have the straight line over here this um, this but we if we check it anyway we can't form the figure X so it is impossible to trace figure X in option 1 now let's look at option 2 in option 2 if we look at these lines now the figure that I have traced looks similar to the figure X but it is actually the mirror image of X if you look at it this line is going right while this line line is going left and if we check each of the lines it will be going the opposite direction so option 2 is also wrong if we check at option 4 now option 4 we can draw this but this is not the exact figure as figure X because in figure X these parts are joined at a point while over here both of those parts are separated they don't join on a point even though on the same line so option 4 is also incorrect now in option 3 we can find the figure exactly so this will be one line one line as you can see this is the exact same figure as figure X 
So option three is the right answer for this question. Next question. Find the matching pair. One, two, three, four. Now, let's look at the pattern between these two figures. Now, at first, the square is in the top left corner, while in the second figure, the square is in the bottom right corner. So, it has gone to the opposite corner. Similarly, the circle is in the bottom left corner, while in the second figure, the circle is in the top right corner. So, it has gone to the opposite corners. So, if we apply this for the figure, third figure, the opposite of this square would be, so the square would be over here and the circle would go to the right. So, the figure would be a square over here and a circle. Now, that is option two. So, option two is the right answer for this question. Let's look at the last question of this episode. If M U S K is coded as one four six eight one six, then Z E R O will be coded as one one thousand fifteen two one two two nine one two three one eight one three and option four nine one four. Now, as you have guessed, this is probably uh, to be going to the position of each of the letters. Now, if we check at a list of the position of the letters, we see that M is 13. Now, 14, so if we look at that, M is equal to 13 plus 1, it's equal to 14. But U is the 21st letter. Plus 1 would be 22. But uh, U is given as 6 or 68, but 68 is not possible, so 6. But so our assumption of the position is wrong. Now, let's change it a bit. So, if we look at the position of the alphabets in reverse, so Z will be 1 and A would be 26, um, we get M is 14, that is true, uh, U is 6, that is true, S is 8 and K is 16. Now if we apply this, Z is 1, E, E is the 22nd, R, R would be the 9th and O would be the 12th. So 0, Z, E, R, O would be 1, 22, 9, 12. That is option 2. Option 2, 1, 2, 2, 9, 1, 2 is the right answer for this question. That's all folks. For more educational content on various examinations, please subscribe to our channel Brain Blitz Audios. We'll be uploading more questions on the a Talent Text exam. Until then, take care, stay safe, ta-ta for now.